They made Mashani Sniper began well. Gennady well away with Hatchet and Zarastro. King Cap is showing early speed and Iona Merck about sixth away. Then all that pizzazz. Prince of Boom wasn't fast away, but now he's roaring towards the lead. Coupling in midfield and then came Deepor off the track, followed by the big goodbye Tashi. Shooting for gold over on the inside of the last pair, Shalar's moment and what you need. Down the side, 700 out, Zarastro the pilot, leads Gennady, nice and close in second, trailing by Nick, King Kappa third, fourth and four wide, Prince of Boom doing it tough. Sweet Margot May, fifth the rail, then Hatchet. All that pizzazz, get into the three wide cover flow, then Kabling. Mashani Sniper, Iona Berg shuffle back. Then shooting for gold, Shalaz moment, the big goodbye. Tashi with a lot of work to do. And then came what you need. They fan across the track, 300 left to Rana. Zarastro going boldly. Leads from Garnetti trying hard on the outside. Then came King Kappa. Nothing making too much ground from back in the field. Zarastro bombing strongly with 100 metres left to go from Garnetti. And then came Hatchet and King Kappa. Zarastro will do it all of the way and give Tony Gold on the treble. Beat Garnetti. Hatchet, fourth either Tashi or shooting for gold. Carbling not too far away with Deepaw. In that bunch as well, King Carper and Mashani snipe up. Iona Merck never came on, then Sweet Margot May, followed by the head of the others was... Always nice to uh, tip the winner in the last, and that's what's happened for me at least. I have had a mixed day on the punt, but Zarastro, what's good about that is that Ange Jones was able to jump and actually lead them up today. Uh, for Tony Goll, and she gets a stakes double on a big day. So Lizzie furious with the pen there. I think we've got to give votes to young Ange Jones. Yeah, young Ange Jones, and even Tony Golan as well. He's had three uh, winners here at Eagle Farm on a feature day. Okay, so we're loading for the last.